Tokyo Disneyland Resort has been the lone holdout in keeping Splash Mountain going. Their version is better, and Walt Disney Parks and Resorts knows it. Now they're making moves to shut down Tokyo's Splash Mountain, whether they like it or not. Let's talk about that on That Park Place. Hello, I am Jonas J. Campbell, an investigative reporter for That Park Place, and here with me today is Mr. Vash Guy. Vash, is it one of those zippity doo days? Ah, uh, yes, it is one of those zippity doo days. But unfortunately, uh, Jonas Sama, I believe that's what's that's what we're going with here, <laughs> uh, Jonas Sun. Uh, maybe not for very long, unfortunately. Uh, yeah, that that's true. Even though I I was hoping to go visit this one day, uh, maybe if I got the funding to go take a, a a Tokyo Disney vacation, because I hear that's where Disney parks are what they should be. Uh, we want to talk about this rumor: the final Splash Mountain in Japan is under pressure to be destroyed by the Walt Disney Company. This by WDW Pro. Though Splash Mountain has been transformed into Tiana's Bayou Adventure in the domestic Disney parks, Japan has not been so quick to make the change. But Disney CEO Bob Iger might be putting the squeeze on the company that runs Tokyo Disneyland. Note, the following article, and this video, by the way, uh, speak of potential future decisions and changes under consideration by multiple companies. It is derived from reports from sources whose identities we are protecting. As a result, this article should be considered rumor and speculation and should be taken with a little bit of salt, although you can see why uh, that, that saltiness is, is not as necessary as, as some videos we've talked about in the past. Despite the domestic Disney parks changing their Splash Mountain attractions following announcement during the Summer of Love protests of 2020, the Oriental Land Company that owns and operates the Japanese Disney parks has thus far not made any change to their ride. Vash, what's the difference between the Japanese parks and the United States domestic parks? Uh, considerable, <laughs> but uh, it's it's, I would say it's an assemblage that's close to Disneyland and it is Walt Disney World. It's two theme parks uh, uh, with a, a myriad of, of resort hotels on a very small plot of land. And yeah, their uh, Disney park, uh, their castle park, I should say, is kind of an assemblage of Disneyland and Magic Kingdom, while the Tokyo Disney Seas Park is, it's it's just a, a force unto its own, that's for sure. But it, I, I know when the Imagineers pitched it, it kind of rivals the castle park in that, oh, hey, look, here's a Sinbad adventure. It's kind of like Small World, isn't it? Or, oh, here's this uh, this this large volcano that is our icon. Well, that's kind of like, um, I don't know, Sleeping Beauty Castle or, in their case, Cinderella Castle. So that's kind of what the comparison is. In terms of Splash Mountain, however, it, it mostly follows Magic Kingdom's kind of version of it. However, there are some differences. And, and maybe Pro will talk about some of the differences between the Tokyo Splash and the United States Domestic Splash, other than the fact that this one still exists, of course, uh, that being the key difference. Uh, but the fun of Tokyo Disneyland's final Splash Mountain might be coming to an end if our sources are correct. According to a source who has reached out around two weeks ago, the Walt Disney Company may have been attempting to push Oriental Land Company to get rid of their Splash Mountain attraction through several means. First, it appears that Disney has restricted the use of Splash Mountain songs in any of the other locations around Tokyo Disneyland other than the attraction. Uh, we're told that means no laughing place nor zippity doodah being played elsewhere in the parks. Although we've seen indications that that uh, laughing place has been played in a in a few different locations, zippity doodah being a bit more iconic and more easily recognized. E even a year ago, you can see zippity doodah being used in uh, prominent attractions in the park, including uh, the Jungle Cruise. Though that fact might seem superfluous, removing the audible reminder of an attraction folks might want to ride is in fact somewhat impactful. But far more powerful is the rumor that we've been told Disney may now be going a step further by restricting Tokyo Disneyland from using the Brer characters in merchandise at some point in the future. That's a much mm. steeper penalty for keeping the ride if it is true. The Brer characters are very popular in Tokyo. If OLC can't monetize the ride, that's a problem. Uh, Vash, do you want to explain to the to our audience what goes on at the Disney parks and and how most of their rides are structured and end uh, so that they can maximize the uh, the the productivity of these uh, rides? Yes. So usually, you know, for any given attraction, you're going to have a gift shop at the at the end uh, or or the beginning, and that allows for obviously the monetization of these attractions. You're also in terms of characters that you're 
you know, seeing us refer to here, you know, that's that doesn't necessarily have to be just walk around characters around the attraction itself. It could include, uh, you know, meet and greets listed as an attraction. So apparently those are off the table, uh, according to some reports that uh, have been out for a little while now and also parades and so forth. So that's that's really uh, that mm, that's that's not the not the not the greatest thing that could happen especially when given the fact that you know this splash mountain attraction for such a small resort you know it takes up a lot of land and so obviously oriental land company is going to be wanting to maximize that attraction as much as possible and so taking away some of those things uh it's just it's 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 not very good it does create a question for me obviously uh, the oriental land company parks they have a much more uh robust form of duffy and and the duffy and friends uh, merchandise collection over there. Are those all made by Disney Parks, but they're made to order for OLC? I wonder. Yeah. Um, I, so I, so I, by implication, I, sorry, I'll just go sure. ahead and tell you where I'm going with that. Does that mean that Disney is currently making Brer merchandise in order to sell at the Oriental Land Company parks? I don't think so. I do think the Oriental Land Company is able to commission its own merchandise. However, they have to do it through, obviously, what they can through their licenses and license agreements. So I, I think it's something that they can commission themselves. But uh, yeah, this is this is where it gets my my knowledge on this at least gets a little fuzzy. However, I will I'm tell sure. you that uh, you know merchandise is is big deal in Oriental Land Company. Big big deal. Uh, I, I'm I'm going to go ahead and throw this to the commenters. I'm sure there's someone who has been to the Oriental Land Company parks, that being Tokyo Disneyland Resort and Tokyo Disney Sea, and that they can help us find out uh, whether or not they've got that nice Disney parks stamp on them. And maybe there's some notes on manufacturing. I don't know. Let us know in the comments below. Another source reached out totally independent of the first. And uh, by the way, having some visibility here, I don't know who the specific sources are, are but Pro uh, and I had some discussion of this. The second source is directly linked to Walt Disney Imagineering. And according to what they had to say, we're now hearing that Disney might be looking to send Imagineers to Tokyo to start redoing the ride in the future. According to the Imagineer, it won't be long before Tokyo changes Splash to something else. What's fascinating about this is that Princess and the Frog was an absolute bust in Japan. It's not a property that will drive attendance whatsoever, and these Splash Mountain Critters are extremely, extremely popular in Japan. They have no stigma whatsoever, and the change would likely be very poorly received because OLC is unlikely to want to change from a very popular IP to a very unpopular franchise with their park. A contact we have who is familiar with some of the relations between Disney and OLC has said that Disney would likely have to offer to foot the bill. And even then, it's still no win for Oriental Land Company. That may be why they're waiting until Tiana's opens in Magic Kingdom to assess whether or not they're willing to take the plunge and destroy what might be their most popular water mm. attraction. Uh, Vash, uh, at Magic Kingdom, or the Magic Kingdoms, I should say, one being the happiest and one being the most magical place on mm -hmm. Earth, uh, trademark, um, Splash Mountain was already the most popular attraction at either of those parks. Am I wrong? Yeah, I mean, well, I, so Walt Disney World, for sure, Splash Mountain was number one. There was no question. The, in uh, Disneyland, West Side here, I could say that's debatable, but there's no question that at the company's flagship resort, which is Walt Disney World, Splash Mountain, which is a superior version, or at least was, then its Disneyland counterpart was the most popular attraction. There's no, there, there, there really is no debate about that. And that's why uh, Tokyo, you know, the Oriental Land Company found it best to include that into the resort property. I'll, 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 I'll say this. <laughs> okay. Uh, Oriental Land Company is to, to convince those executives to do anything. Uh, is is quite it takes quite a bit to do that they're very reserved and they're not guys that are like oh hey let's go ahead and fix what ain't broke that that's not them now we've heard of multiple instances of disney doing that let's say i don't know figment for for instance right <laughs> orange land company doesn't operate like that they're much they're much like okay if it works and it's popular with our guests we're going to keep it and we're not going to change a thing about it in order to not um you know, uh, let's say al alter or, or 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 affect that popularity, right? So well, I can well, see yeah, them that... being very hesitant to do anything here. 
Right. And this calls back to uh, business school. I've, I've done some reports on uh, Japanese business culture. And, and, and when you have an idea, if, if, if a low level employee had an idea, it would have to be approved by every level before it got to the top of the company. And it had to have mm. been vetted already before it got to the top of the company. So if you got to the top of the company, then it's much more likely to have happened. But in order to get there, you have to literally push the rock up the hill and expect that thing to fall back down again. Whereas in, in American business circles, it's it's more likely that someone there's 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 some more uh, lateral nature to American business culture where the smallest person within the company can suggest something. And that's good. And that's bad. Of course, when the when the lowest level person on the ladder can can hold the highest level of the company hostage, that uh, that creates a different problem that we're still trying to figure out here in America. And uh, here we have on that egalitarian idea, we have the critter co-op here, uh, the idea that the <laughs> critters have some kind of uh, equality between uh, themselves as they, I guess, help Tiana mine ingredients for maybe Tabasco. I think it's supposed to be Tabasco. I'm not quite sure about that. It's set at Avery Island, which is a, uh, a place associated with Tabasco. And I'm going to say this very euphemistically, among other things. <laughs> Mm, <laughs> uh, the, the other thing that is, of course, uh, apropos to the situation is bring up that Oriental Land Company has been told by the Walt Disney Company that they find their name to be problematic. The American Walt Disney Company has told the Oriental Land Company, which is owned by uh, Japanese people, that their name is offensive to Japanese people. So, you know, we're, this is this is the environment that this kind of interaction is stewing within. Americans are more worried about offending Japanese people then Japanese people are worried about offending people who are not going to be offended. <laughs> Look, it, it it's all very convoluted. I, I, I get it. I understand it. It makes sense why our insulin company uh, or OLC, let's just say OLC, have been very hesitant to do anything with this attraction because they know it's it's unbelievably popular. And look, I, I'm sure they've seen Tiana. I'm sure they've seen a lot more than we have seen. And for them to say, no, we're still not interested is profound and really should give people an idea of what we're getting with Tiana's Buddy Adventure. I understand there might be good aspects, but I don't know. Did you see some of those exterior photos recently, Jonas? I'm not holding my breath. They, they, they don't way. they don't look impressive. By the way, they just just to emphasize how popular Splash Mountain is, they will host events where they turn up the water on Splash Mountain and names like Get Wet Max or Soaked Max. This is a this is an attraction that still brings people into the park with special events here. This is not that it's run down. This is not one that they've neglected for a while. This isn't Carousel of Progress. That's only uh, important to certain people who really love the Walt Disney Company and what it used to stand for, <clears throat> myself included. This is the most popular attraction, probably globally, for Walt Disney Parks and Resorts, and and they want it gotten rid of. This is this is a, a counter a counter financial decision because of, of, of some kind of idea that they, they need to have a problem with something that happened forever ago. They're not touching Peter Pan, by the way, Tokyo Disney sea is, uh, is getting fantasy Springs, which is centered on Peter Pan. No problems there. That one's still on Disney plus, but uh, song of the South. Well, one time somebody heard that this was about song of the South because the cartoons in song of the South are also in splash mountain. Well, here we are. Of course, we want to throw this to our commenters. Uh, what do you think about this situation? Is the Walt Disney Company extorting the people who they have been working with for such a long time over there in Japan? And uh, or is this something that just needs to happen? And and, and Walt Disney, sorry, uh, the Disney Corporation needs to flex their moral muscle here to force this change over there in Japan. Let us know in the comment section down below. Of course, like this video if you like this video and consider subscribing to That Park Place for all the news that should be fun. Thanks for watching That Park Place News. For more information, consider checking out www.thatparkplace.com. And don't forget to subscribe, share, like, and send this out on your favorite social media accounts.